The Grand Steeplechase de Paris is next. Uh, this is probably the biggest chase of the week. Three miles and five furlongs, and the top one is a fleet lip for James Shea. Old Lang Syne for Ryan Tamasevi, Flashpoint, and G.I. Joe for Leon Van Rensburg. The last two gold cup winners, Golden Miller for Craig Allen, Lexington Regal, Vinnie Gerrard, Lord of the National and Lord of the North for Joshua Sutherland, Plague Runner for Craig Allen, Ultra Cool for Graham Clutterbuck, What's the Crack, John Morgan, Yossi Mate, Darren Thompson, Deck Castanea, James Shea, Kerry's Girl, John Morgan, Little Green Bag, Ryan Tamasevi, and Safinaz Josie for David Robertson. So 16 then in this one. Called in and away in front of the stand. And as you can see, they're travelling in the wrong direction. But uh, they're not because it's a track where the course goes in different directions depending on what race you're in. And in this one, we start off going this way. And it's Lord of the North in front from Lexington Regal in second. So the jockeys don't get confused. And Little Green Bag is third as they make their way to the first of the 24 fences that they've got to take in this one. And they're all safely over it. A really big field for this. It should be a competitive sort of race the three mile plus champions but will they all stay the extra three furlongs or the extra half a mile for some of them and over that one they go and Lord of the North has settled down in the lead by about two lengths to Lexington Regal in second gap of about three lengths then to Old Lang Syne who was a surprising faller last week Kerry's girl is with that one as they make their way towards the next to it in the lead. Field stream over it and they're all safely over it. They're all still on their feet. Golden Miller, just the current back marker. I think that one's probably been a bit of a disappointment since coming in, in the transfer window. Uh, oh, he's gone! Golden Miller's a faller, so high hopes were had for that one when Craig Allen bought it and it's really just not lived up to its name at all, has it? And it's crashed out and I fear that may be the last that we see of Golden Miller, whether Golden Miller will be back next season will be something of a doubt I would think considering his performances so far on this but they get to the water and over that one they go and Lord of the North is clear in front of Lexington Regal in second and Ultra Cool is third then Old Lang Syne is four and Watch the Crack is five then comes Kerry's Girl and Lord of the National and then Little Green Bag and Plague Runner then comes the Gold Cup and a flash point as they take the next and the deposed champion G.I. Joe was down on his nose there and nearly another big name depart in the race but it's Lord of the North he's six lengths clear of Lexington Regal in second and they get to the next and safely over that one with a fleet lip out of shot but Lord of the North is sitting a stiff pace but we know that one will stay and he's clear Lexington Regal in second, then Ultra Cool third, Old Lang Syne close up today in fourth, has made a mistake there but got away with it, tends to make the odd mistake that one, been on the deck once this season, nearly front of the Gold Cup of course but got away with it and over that one they go, and they're all over that one safely as well, with Lord of the North leading by five to Lexington Regal in second, Ultra Cool has moved through into third and these fences coming up thick and fast, this is a big ditch and over that one they go, a really good jump at the back there by Plague Runner and seeing that one get out of the back spot but it's Lord of the North who's continuing to lead into this plan one he went straight through that, you can see it's a pretty soft fence though quite a few of them went right through it and didn't seem to cause any of them any problem Lord of the North from Lexington Regal second, Ultra Cool third, wide on the track, watch the crack is fourth then Old Lang Syne creeping up the inside is Lord of the National might find this one a little bit on the short side but maybe that's what Lord of the North is doing setting it up for him making it a stiff test of stamina they're already into the final 14 furlongs and the leader is too fast for the cameraman there Lord of the North Lexington Regal is second Ultra Cool third Lord of the National four then watch the crack and old lungs on Flashpoint he's creeping into it on the outside as they get over number 13 and all safely over that one 
little green bag towards the back. Safanas Josie also towards the back and a fleet lip has not been in shot for some time. As they take the 14th. Actually, all over again, still just lost Golden Miller so far. And these cream of the three mile plus traces then racing into the well, they're inside the final mile and a half of their season now. Then a Lord of the North is four lengths clear of Lexington Regal in second. Watch the crackers move through into third. Then Old Lang Syne is four and Ultra Call is five. Then comes Lord of the Nash as they get over the water. And they're all safely over the water jump as you'd expect. And Lord of the North's lead is down to a length and a half with Lexington Regal from the sprinting powerhouse stable of Vinnie Gerard in second. Then in third comes Old Lang Syne. Watch the crack is fourth as they take the 16th. And over that one they go, and they're all safely over it. G.I. Joe's trying to creep into it. Flashpoint is well placed as well. But it's still Lord of the North in front by two. To Lexington Regal in second. Old Lang Syne is creeping closer in third. What's the crack is fourth. Then Lord of the National and Ultra Cool. Then comes Flashpoint as they take the 17th. And it's still Lord of the North. Inside the final mile now. Lord of the North leads by two. And driven into the next beam, made a mistake. Yeah, that's his first mistake. And he rattled the top of it, and the next one comes up quickly, but he got over that one nicely. Safanas Josie was the one that made the mistake towards the back, and it's Lord of the North now being challenged by Watts the Crack, who's moved through into second. Lexington Regal is on the inside third. Lord of the National creeping closer in fourth. Old Lang Syne just lost his place a little bit. Stable mate, Little Green back. He's coming around the outside, and then come Flashpoint and G.I. Joe with Deck Castanea also getting into it as they get over the 20th. And it's Lord of the North in the lead from Watts the Crack second. And Lexington Regal still there on the inside. This is the 21st then. And over that one they go. Really good jump on the outside by Plague Runner. Sees that one getting into contention. As Flashpoint's just hit a bit of a flat spot. But Lord of the North has kicked on with three to jump. Lord of the North then. Over the third last. Jumped in a little bit slowly. Really good jump there by G.I. Joe's. Now jumped through into second. Plague Runner's chasing him. Then comes Old Lang Syne. Ultra cool. Little green bag. Flashpoint now trying to get back into it as well. They swing towards home. They've got two more fences to take in the Grand Steeple Chase to Barry. And it's Lord of the North in the lead from G.I. Joe's. Now coming up to challenge in second. Plague Runner's in third. Then what's the crack is fourth. After that one comes Kerry's girl. Lord of the National. Flashpoint's got work to do. As they take the second last. And G.I. Joe down on his nose. Lord of the North gets back into the lead. It's Lord of the North then. On the near, on the inside. G.I. Joe on the near side. G.I. Joe gets back into the lead again as they take the final fence and G.I. Joe jumps it well and gets away from it. Well, G.I. Joe, here comes Little Green Bag. What's the cracks trying to sneak on? So too's Lord of the North Beast. G.I. Joe's a length clear. And G.I. Joe is racing up towards the line, but they're beginning to close on him. Lord of the North, what's the crack? Little Green Bag, here comes Flashpoint on the outside. What's the cracks hit the front? What's the crack from Lord of the North? Little Green Bag, what's the crack takes it? On the line, what's the crack? Has taken it for John Morgan. And it looked like G.I. Joe was going to go out with a win. He ran out of steam. That was like extra few furlongs, just too much for him. And I think we can say that for quite a few of the big guns, really. But what's the crack? For John Morgan takes it. Lord of the North for Joshua Sutherland was second. Little Green Bag for Ryan Tamasebi. Another big race again in third. The last two Gold Cup winners, Flashpoint and G.I. Joe. Fourth and fifth for Leon Van Rensburg. And looking down the pack there, Lord of the National probably a little bit too short for him and probably a little bit too far for Old Langsyne.